Well, the balance of politics in North Carolina has drastically shifted in the past 24 hours. Democrat Trisha Cottom now has voted into power. She was voted to be able to represent Mecklenburg County in the State House as a Democrat. Well, now she plans to be a part of the Republican Party. We thank you for joining us tonight for your news at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes. And I'm Morgan Francis. Representative Cotham making the announcement this morning that she intends to become a Republican. This change would create a Republican supermajority in the North Carolina House of Representatives. Cotham earned her seat as a Mecklenburg County Democrat representing District 112 of Mint Hill. As far as Cotham's committee assignments, she's the chair of education, vice chair of health, and also serves on the Agriculture, Finance, Ethics, Judiciary, Energy, and Rules Committees. In her announcement, Cotham pointed to criticism she's received as a big reason for the switch. One of the absolute worst moments, which was a deal breaker, a turning point for me, was when I was criticized for using the American flag and the praying hands emoji on all my social media platforms, and even on the back of different vehicles that I have. I really could not believe that was the conversation that was happening at that time. And I was deeply offended. Her decision is rooted in her belief that the Democratic Party has transformed too much, no longer has the same values she does. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce joins us live in Uptown, where, where earlier today voters rallied requesting she resign. Daniel, right now she says she's a Republican, but you found out that's not the case on paper. Yeah, still on paper she is listed as a Democrat. I'm told that it's expected over the next couple of days for her to uh, formally file this switch of a party with the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections. And then after that, it'll take about another day to get everything updated on all of the platforms where she is currently listed as a Democrat. Tonight, though, Democratic voters here in Mecklenburg County are calling on her to resign or be prepared to be voted out of office come next election. We demand now that Trisha Cotham resign. 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 Sell out. Cotham let us down. Rally cries etched onto posters Mecklenburg County Democrats are using to demand accountability for Representative Trisha Cotham. Trisha Cotham is not going to be elected to represent Mecklenburg County. The District 112 representative was elected into the state house by more than 15,000 Democrat voters in November. Five months later, I have decided to change my party affiliation, joining the Republican Party. Since her election, she claims she and her family have been bullied and intimidated by Democratic voters and colleagues. Now where we are, modern day Democratic Party has become unrecognizable to me and to so many others throughout this state. If Trisha Cotham and other people want a party that centers white people, a party that centers the voices of rich donors who give to her, who want to privatize our schools, she's right to change her party. We just wish she did it five months ago. Mecklenburg County Democrat voters both inside and outside the district say they feel this is a prime example of a bait and switch. It's a bait and switch. It's not fair. You know, like we elected one person and she's not that person if she's flipping like that. The people of district 112 in North Carolina have been swindled. Mecklenburg County GOP leaders released this statement saying in part, she deserves our respect and the benefit of the doubt that she will continue this service. Not just sit in a meeting and have a workshop after a workshop, but really work with individuals to get things done because that's what real public servants do. We're gonna take care of her at the ballot box or she's going to resign. And looking toward the ballot box, it may be easier said than done. Right now, uh, Republicans are looking at redistricting here in North Carolina, and she might play a role whenever it comes to those decisions. Other things that do have people concerned is how she will vote whenever we come to school funding or women's reproductive rights. She has not said exactly how she plans to vote whenever it comes to those issues now that she is a part of the Republican Party. Live in Uptown, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.